the left-wing political commentator Narendra Kaur started to have a meltdown on live TV when she was confronted by the flag of England. Absolute insanity. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about what happened yesterday on ITV's Good Morning Britain. Oh, dear God. Okay, so... I don't think many people watch this show anyway going at this point, but it is important for me to watch all this nonsense so you guys don't have to watch it. I'll do it for you. I'll suffer on behalf of the nation. So, Narinda Kaur, we already know her. We talk about it all the time on this channel. <laughs> when she talks nonsense, we have to challenge those ideas. It's not really about giving them airtime because they're already getting the airtime that they want. It's about us then challenging them. So when other people randomly find this video, they actually see the other side of the story. So <laughs> she said, have this massive, this massive debate. And the idea was that she didn't like the English flag and she's not proud of the English culture and heritage. And Thomas Skinner, who was there on the panel, no doubt Thomas was Basically just showing the flag saying, what's wrong with being English? Let's get into it. And actually, I do worry for the coronation. In no sense is that a symbol of nationalism that, you know what that is? Nationalism that's or racism. That's just kind of ignorance to me, because you're waving it around, and I feel it's... Don't start me. He said, look, I, I'm proud to be English. I've come in here to say that, yeah. There's, look, there's a million things. <laughs> like, I don't think that just because of some, a few wrong ones that are far right... It's not a few wrong ones, no, it's listen, a lot. Listen, the majority of the majority of people, yeah, of should be able to be proud of where they come from. Like, and so, firstly, is absolutely spot on. Secondly, in this country, there are about six or seven far right people. <laughs> if you want to see far right, go to any other country, literally any other country, and not just in terms of Western Europe or America. I'll take you to Africa or Asia. I'll I'll show you authoritarianism. That aside. Just be proud of the flag. The flag doesn't represent one group. Her argument is going to be that, well, it's been reclaimed uh, and uh, been taken over by the far right. Well, if I say, what is this far right you talk about? Secondly, yes, the flag represents everybody. That actually includes the far right, the far left, the middle, uh, the, the right brown, everything that you want. It literally it represents England. We, they, we, we ain't letting them take I don't think you should us. encourage we, nationalism. We, we are. You should we are encourage. Proud. We've had Brexit, Windrush. There's a lot that so actually... Narenda, the younger Narenda, generation... Can I ask, what, the, OK, so what... Because you say, as a woman of colour, you don't feel that uh, this flag represents you or that there it's are... not inclusive. Colour. Yeah, so, so what is the... What is your proposition? What, in what, what would make you feel proud to be British? I, Okay, before she answers, firstly, Susanna Reid, why do you have to say women of colour? See, they, it's, they, they, the mainstream, the establishment, they are the ones stirring the pot, keep causing division. Well, I don't care about her skin colour, I care about what's inside her head, which is not really, at this point, nothing. But <laughs> the problem I have is that she says, we shouldn't promote more nationalism. Yes, we should promote more nationalism. We haven't done it enough in this country. Look, look at the state of the culture at this point. You idiots. I think all the I think all the moderate voices like Ed said he did do we need to become louder and actually celebrate St George actually is a representation of multi multiculturalism mm -hmm. and he's a representation of tolerance. Born in Turkey. We should be a tolerant, more of a tolerant country. We uh, 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 we should be more why can't you guys on the political left stop being more tolerant? You say we should be more tolerant, you should be more tolerant. You're so scared of everything that stands against you that you want to bring down the whole system. We are not that these days. We are not showing tolerance. The far right, and not even the far right, people are so much against asylum seekers, but, refugees, they're taking but, this, they're taking that. But, but let's you, celebrate. But, but, if you, but if you give the... F that they are, they are taking everything. ...flag <laughs> and patriotism mm. and St George's Day to the far right You've and given say it. we're not going to touch it because that's something we're not proud of. Let's that is a catastrophe for our country yep. and we have to own it together. It's, it's outdated. We could be it's, it's not outdated, it's a flag. <laughs> Let's get a new flag because that one is outdated well, and it represents far too much negativity in this country. What, I think we need a new day. What's, what, what on earth are you talking about? It's just a flag, which means even if you change the flag, the so-called far right or Brexiteers or anybody that you don't like, they're just going to use the new flag. 
Do you not think about the consequences of your action? What, what did the... anyone celebrate St George's Day? I mean, the two yeah, men did. Trafalgar, did. The did. Now, <laughs> in Trafalgar Square. In, in Morley, there was a the big will parade you, of school the teams. Turnout in Narinda, Trafalgar will you Square. celebrate the coronation? Actually, no, because oh. I think the monarchy... No, I'm sorry. I think the monarchy represents... Have they gone as well? ...represents <laughs> colonisation. They need to give back all their stolen jewels. Narinda, what, what... They can give everything back. <laughs> what is going on? Will not be celebrated. Oh, okay. I feel sad. I do want yeah. King Charles to what do the right thing. I feel he can do the right service? thing. I think yes, I would celebrate Ooh, that. Of good. course. Good. I, I think like King, Charles, King Charles, who wants to be defender of all faiths, I have faith that he may do what he's. Uh, uh, um, oh my gosh, he wants uh, Charles to be the defender of all faiths, including Islam. <laughs> What's this? Okay. Yes, very proud. Of course. The There's lots life of things I am proud to be fish proud and to be British. I love fish and chips. Uh, <laughs> I am right. dying. That's last, a moment. Last night of the proms. That no. Um, oh come on. <laughs> come uh, on. Oh my. Oh my God. I love fish and chips. I am so British. Why do I sound like I'm from California? So. You, that doesn't make you British. Eating fish and chips does not make you British. You idiot. <laughs> oh, so this is the narrative that they want to create, by the way, to say, hey, I am actually more British than you. I'm, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the moderate Brits because I do all the normal British stuff. I eat fish and chips. What? Is, is that it? Does that, that, that just makes you British now. But yeah, but I also want to bring down the, um, the flag of Islam, flag of flag of England, replace it with the flag of Islam, <laughs> and completely change the culture. It makes no sense. You can't do that. The flag is the flag. You have to respect the rules of the land. The culture matters. The heritage matters. Even if your parents are not from the, even if you are not from the originally, you have to respect the rule of the land. This land is the greatest land in the world. And it is a fact, and in my opinion, obviously. <laughs> and we have to be grateful that we are here today, being able to say what we can and what we want freely, up to a point apparently these days. But it is important to show gratitude instead of completely trying to bring down the whole system and culture with you, just because some people offend you. You don't have to stay here. Now, anyway, let me know what you think. Now they're going to accuse me of sending people around to Rwanda. <laughs> I didn't say that. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to come back in half an hour. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.